Hey guys, welcome back to our brand new video. And today we are here at Gilmar's Chop Shop and we're about to relocate this gas tank because for the longest it's been scraping and scraping and scraping. And I am scared that that shit has a hole. Well, not, probably not a hole, but like it's starting to get fucked up really bad. So that's what we're about to do right now. Gilmar finally is available to do stuff. Yeah, because you know, yeah, he always busy. He always capping about doing my stuff because you know, um, he, he, I made him, I made him famous, but he don't want to ever help me out no more. Um, all right, look, this is what we got in the, well, I got in the fucking, in my mail this weekend, this week. What is that right there? Oh, yeah, we know where everybody could put this at. No, but this is, uh, 38 braided fuel holes. Um, you know, when we extend the lines and stuff. Yeah, because my gas tank, as I know, the gas tank in the floor, and we're going to relocate it up here. So, I'm not gonna be able to pump gas from here no more. I like to go from right here. <laughs> What's that right there? Um, this is the little clamps. Yeah, the hose clamps. You really only need a. When I did mine, I only needed like ten. But how much was this? Like five dollars, six dollars? I don't even know. Yeah, I spent like that on six of them. So might as well buy a hundred, keep them. Free. You could have gotten a load and just put them in your pocket. You got them free. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got, uh, I'm keeping these. So, oh, no. <laughs> these are the good shit. Um, we're just like telling y'all exactly what, oh, we kind can. of, kind of everything y'all need. If y'all were trying to do a relocating kit, well, not relocating, but like just relocating your gas tank somewhere else. Words, you know, but no, these are, um, these are butt connectors. But what they also have is you can, you don't clamp them down. You press, you put both the wires in, heat this up, and this solders them together, which is a whole lot better. Um, no water or shit goes in there, so you don't get corroded. Mm. But that's why we went with this instead of that Harbor Freight shit. That's what I got, the Harbor Freight shit. But you know, yeah, we just use a little bit of this. And... Literally, you really don't need anything besides just the jack. Uh, you got you're gonna need yourself a Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> the hose that we just told you, the three eights. The three eight hose, um, uh, butt connectors. And the clamps. And clamps. Oh, and some wire. I'm gonna see if I have some. All right. Okay, well, Gilmore, literally just, what are these star bits, right? Yeah, it's yeah. these right here. It's just three of them. And then two there's little, two of them. There's two on top. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, there's this one. That goes right here, right? Yeah, that goes at the bottom. You know, just unscrew that so that way this is. Out the way. Out. But Gilmore just told me that my gas tank was almost about to be gone. A la verga. <laughs> Look at I, that, guys. I even smelled it to see if it smelled like gas. Look at that. God damn. Like I said, like I said, low life. Damn. Did you wipe it off? Luckily, 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 it's um. <laughs> Now, luckily, it didn't fucking go through, because if not, god damn, it's fucked up everything. I'm surprised my um, relocating shocks aren't fucking scraped. My god damn, them motherfuckers. Damn. <laughs> but. but, oh well, I mean, at least, well, I guess we chose the right time to fucking relocate it. Cause if not, it would have been gone. Like I do with the Z, you just gotta catch the right flip. <laughs> right in time. But, you know, that's what this one is. So. I'm glad that we're doing it today because. Because, damn, that's crazy. But yeah, we're about to start doing this. We're about to take the gas tank down. But remember, you got to be on E. Yeah, oh yeah, it has to be on E because if not, it's going to be heavy as hell to put it back up. So, I just drove it. I just drove it for a little bit. It should be on I mean, it's probably on E. But you gaslight on? No. It was just like this much. Oh, hello, cars down. He swear he goes to a Jimmy B now. <laughs> so, so why do we give you guy jacks for? Huh? Why do we got jacks when you got you? Because <laughs> I can't fit on the truck. So what we need right here, Gilmo, to take this shit off? A 15, 12 inch, 6 inch. They look like a 12 inch. inch. That's why I told them 3 inch. <laughs>
I think this one's about dead though. Yeah, Milwaukee yeah. sponsor Gilmore. <laughs> you gotta watch it. Anybody that works at Milwaukee or anything, sponsor Gilmore right here. The more the more tools he gets, the more he gets to work on my truck. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm guessing that Gilmore said two straps. So I'm guessing these are the straps. Yeah, so these there's one bolt right there. Mm -hmm. There's another bolt right on that strap, but between the frame and the gas tank. Right here? Yeah. Oh, alright then. So basically, this is all you gotta take off. This and this. Some como cinturones. All you gotta take off. And is that when the gas tank should come down, right? Yeah, that's when the gas tank was. We gotta slowly drop it down. Because it got wires on it? Yeah, wires are Oh, so that's all you need. Right there. So yeah. You only just need to take that off. That boat off, like he said. And then there's another one. Should be in here, right? Right all the way in there. As y'all see, and then it should come down, but get my said drop it down slowly because it has a lot of wires and stuff. But yeah. Okay, so this is the one of the straps, right? Yeah. So how am I supposed to take that off? If anybody wants to take it off. Oh look it. Yeah, I can't see it, but uh, Okay, so that's how you take it off. You just twist it because it only has like little things over here. And y'all yeah. see other my exhaust right here. I'm gonna keep this stuff. Oh, he's looking. Mine now. Everything that he takes is his. God damn, this nigga. And then we're gonna take that one off too. Yeah, but. Oh, shit, look. Let me show y'all. Get some meat on the water. Look. <laughs> that's where you gotta take it off of. Like, just pull it up and just slide it back out. And that's it. Watch. The gas tank is finally, finally off. Push it right here. Give me, a, give it a little shove over here. I'll grab it. Or you can take it off from there. I don't think you're gonna be able to get it. take it off from there. Oh, I look. Alright, okay, I got you. Hey, we can build because it's the money. Pull from the handle. From this one? Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Tiny bit more. There you go. I got it. Let me not cut these wires, though, because these are important. So. These are the two connectors we had to disconnect. Uh huh. And then we had to disconnect that one. Uh huh. I think this one goes to the filler next, so I can connect that, that one back up. And then uh, this one goes to the charcoal canister. And then these two. I think this is the. the This is the return, and that's the one that goes to the engine, I think. And these are just fucking wires that connect right here. Yeah. Yeah, get in the valley what the little thing that you put gas in through. Yeah, the filler neck. You hear that? Here it is right here. You hear that? You hear that gas? <laughs> when you see the gas tank is down, and get more just explain to y'all what you had to take off and everything. Like I said, these were right underneath it, right? Yeah, these were underneath it. We just, just only thing you gotta do is just take that one bolt off. Give my size a 15, right? Yeah. It's a 15. That key stuff. So all you gotta do is take that off. The casting will fall off, fall down, so you have to put a jack under it and slowly, slowly take it down and disconnect all these little things. All these wires and hoses that are in it. You know what I mean? Just try to get as, as high as possible so you can just slide right out. As y'all see, we don't really got a jack to lift the truck up, so we had to use the jack stands and all the, the jacks that we have. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make sure it's set right there. Like I said, now I'm about to pump gas from right there. It's gonna look weird because people are gonna be like, "What the hell is he doing?" When I don't open that and just pumping gas over the thing. See, look, this is where we pump the gas in, and everything's already out. This is what we're gonna need to put a carriva. We're gonna zip tie this up here. All right. Uh, but this is for the, the diff. For a diff? Yeah, because it's connected right here. Uh huh. So, we can zip tie right here. Yeah, we can zip tie it somewhere up there. Um, All right then. But yeah, see, aquí está. Aquí está uno de los hoses. No, there's, these are two of the hoses, right? That go into this thing. So yeah, these two right here. Look. Yeah. So. Yeah, we'll connect this back up. Uh huh. Anyways, we'll connect that back up. And then, yeah, like that. 
And that one goes in there. This one goes right here. <coughs> this one goes right there. And what do you need to take this off? Just a little screwdriver and pick it up. Lift, yeah, lift the can, little handle off. Yeah, there's like clips underneath it you can push. Just push up. Uh -huh. Or you can stick a screwdriver right in there. And just lift it up and then just slide right out, right? Yeah. It might feel like you're breaking it, but you're probably breaking it, but... <laughs> what? <laughs> but this is... is that... this, I usually try to... It's, it goes this way, you know. Mm -hmm. That's the way you do it, but I try to face it up this way. It should be easy. Yeah. Mm. So you don't be at the gas pump for about them 30 minutes. <laughs> I'll I'd, I'd be at the gas pump for that damn 30 minutes. Oh, yeah, where is the truck at? It's at the Oh, look. No, but this is how it will kind of look, but Temporary. temporarily right now. But we're gonna put that uh, yeah, in the hoses that are missing. We're gonna run them through the back and put them here. And I guess we're gonna put a strap here so we just won't move. And after this, I'm gonna head to the gas station because I don't think I'm gonna get nowhere with this type of gas that I got. I got no. T look at my damn gas. It looks weird as hell. That shit looks deformed. It goes from big to medium to small. But if, but if one of y'all want to sponsor me and give me a new gas tank, I'll highly, I highly take it because you know y'all saw my gas tank. I almost had, it almost got a hole through it. But this is what we're talking about. Well, this is what Gilmore's talking about about zip tying his little. Is it a hose or is it? Yes, it's, it's a hose. It goes to the. Yeah, it goes to the diff. It's the. Um, you see the hose right there, the diff. It's the breather hose for the do. Oh, it's just a breather hose. Yeah, so we just put it right there. Um, no water or nothing gets in it. I think mine, I cut mine off. But... Gilmore said that we're going to weld this and shave this all down. No, so... we're going to bond on that bitch. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to cut this and make it flat and then weld it and then <laughs> weld this. Well, he said bond of it, but we'll see what we do. Hell no, nah, we're going to leave it like that. Gilmore's going to be like looking at me weird at the gas station, like I said, because. You usually gonna see somebody like this and pump gas, but I'm gonna oh, be yeah, up. I mean, I I'm gonna be up here. I be getting some weird look. Yeah, cause Gilmer got his fucking um uh, toolbox, and everybody was like, "Where the hell is he gonna put the ga the fuel at?" And he opens up the fucking what toolbox and his damn things in there. So we got two lines under here that needs to go up. So we got this one, uh -huh. the one that goes um to the engine. Uh huh. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this whole line and just do the holes run up mm -hmm. and then the, the wires and then we have this one that goes to the charcoal canister so it has two spots it has one right here and then one over here um i think what i'm gonna do is cut it up here where the dry shaft is uh -huh. and then run it up on this cross member so the dry shaft don't hit it uh -huh. um, maybe we might need an adapter Engineering at its finest. But we don't need it, but we need it. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the breather hose that was uh, on the gas tank. I just tucked it away up, up here. I probably should zip tie, huh? Yeah. There you go. I just tucked it. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to do disconnect that line. We don't uh -huh. need it no more. I'm going to keep that one though. <laughs> you always keeping everything. And then we're going to zip tie this up here. Uh huh. Or over here. Anyways, and then we're gonna run that hose up there here to well the hose that my my speak my battery were at going right. Yeah. 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 But I see, look at my frame. Uh, scratched up. Damn. At least at least we got a frame. <laughs> <laughs> this shit bent. I don't even have a frame. This shit bent, bro. It's smooth. Is it smooth? Hell yeah, yeah, smooth. Yeah, that's what I like. <laughs> <I like it. laughs> All right, we about to run this uh, oh, hose. Hose, real quick. I gotta see that that goes the hose. Hose that Gilmore was talking about that we're gonna run to the top to the bottom. You see the little clamp over there that he bought from, that we bought. Just push it in, it goes in, and you just gotta tighten it. You make sure you tighten it, because if you tighten it, it's gonna fall off. Like some people say, my truck's running. Oh, <laughs>
<laughs> but now uh, you want to go with braided so that way it's better than the regular hose. So if it does rub, do it fuck up? Yeah, I cut your your hose. Ah, this guy's kind of smart. Watch him strip down the that fucking bolt. Like always. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> I didn't want to get tight. Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all. <laughs> We might, we might not have to cut these wires. Yeah. I hope not. How nice. Because I can, I can unclip. <laughs> I can unclip it for the top. Uh huh. And it runs right to here the top? where my hands at. Uh huh. So we could just run it up there. Uh -huh. if, if if we do, then we just turn the gas tank. So this wire, we don't have to cut them. On my truck, I did have to cut them. Um, the round body was what ninety nine oh. Oh, oh, seven. Oh, seven. Yeah. And yours is oh, the seven. new body, so we might not have to cut it. Yeah. Oh, oh seven and 13, baby. Yeah. So. One, the, one hose down, and the, the other hose down. I'm about to be. See what we do. Yeah. What is that? This one, this is the one that goes to the charcoal canister. Uh huh. So we probably do, we just split it in the middle, connect the hose, so it extends this a lot longer. Oh. And this one connects back to the charcoal canister. Oh. This one goes to the gas tank. Oh. The, the real big one. The big yeah. yeah. Alright, then. As you see, the wires that we were going to run don't really reach all the way up top. So we there might be a possibility we had to cut them. And if we cut them, we can run through the hose right there. I don't know if I remember that I used to have hose for my battery in the back. And we can might run them through there. I y'all see the hose right there running. So we can go by arriba and allá abajo. We'll just have to see what happens. We finally got the hose cut. And that hose goes directly on. It slides in and everything. And you gotta put the, what, the clamp in. And just tighten it like the bottom one. Yeah. And that's already what? Three? Three of them? No. Yeah, three of them basically. That one, that one, and the other one. So we still need to do what? The charcoal one and the one that goes directly to the, from the front, right? No, that's it. That's it? Yeah, we just gotta do this one and this one. And the other ones don't matter. What other one? The wires that go there. That meant like hose wise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. But I'll give you enough hose so it can go Phew. from behind it. That way. Take a little OEM, he said. <laughs> <laughs> um, give me the other piece that I cut. What other piece? Right. Oh, this one here? No, this is another one. That's it? Yeah, that one. So that's the one we... This is the one that goes in the bottom. Um, this one's the bottom one. That yeah, one. that's the bottom one because it connects there. And then that was on top because that one has a big ass little chupon up there. We might have to run to the store. Alright. I ain't not feeling one time, it's not gonna fit. <laughs> so I make you think it's gonna fit, but it's not. <laughs> you might have to go with a bigger hose. Uh, uh huh. It has to go to this shit right here. What the hell is that? Don't ask me what it is, because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just know that that's where it goes. Uh huh. So then we're gonna take these wires, the ones we need for up top. Uh huh. And. Chop. We're just gonna chop it halfway. And this one, right about, right about there. Then I'm gonna call in sick so Dari don't can't go home. <laughs> I'm gonna take this. Now this one's a lot closer to the hole, so 
we don't have to run that much of it. So we need to get what? We don't need water, do we? Um, we do for the thicker wires. All right. Like this one, we can go ahead and connect it real quick. It's just three. Well, you know, three small ones. Uh huh. And then well, that one has what four? This one has four, but two big ones, which is probably the power and ground. Uh huh. Um, since it's going a lot further than it was intended, we want to get either the same one a little bit bigger. Uh -huh. uh, so we don't cause wires to overheat. Uh, well, yeah, hell no, because what if I blow up? <laughs> see, you see how these are a lot thicker? Yeah. That's why we're going to go with something so, a little bit bigger or the same size. And then the other ones. And then the other ones is fine with the 14 gauge. So right. these two are fine with the 14 gauge and these three. Uh -huh. So we got to go with like 10, I think, maybe. I don't know. Zero gauge. Zero. We can do a zero gauge. <laughs> I got zero gauge running down up to the front. My man swear he <coughs> <laughs> Dude, we're speaking. <laughs> <coughs> I'm a little sick, guys. Um, I want to get more sick right now, but we are here working on this shit. When it's what? It's touchy I don't know, like a little rainy, rainyish, but it feels good outside for some reason. Hell yeah! We went to the junkyard this morning. Yeah, we went to the junkyard and. And y'all see, this is what Gimmo was talking about. These are better because literally you can just slide one wire in, slide the other one in, and you just got to heat it up. And you give them a demonstration, Gimmo. My batteries are dead, but we can. And y'all see it's shrinking slowly but surely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take two. Okay, so we went to what AutoZone? AutoZone. We gotta grab some uh, more clamps. More, more clamps. The five sixteen to seven eights. Some wire loom, just to make everything look good. And then we will grab some more twelve gauge. Well, the twelve gauge is for these thicker wires. That's all they had, the biggest. And then fourteen gauge for the smaller wires. Mm -hmm. um, and then all they had in stock was five eight teeter holes, but. You done order the braided line, so. When you get here, we just switch them out. Yeah, because this one, if you grab the heater hose, the gas is just going to eat the inside up. Mm -hmm. So this is just temporary until the braided line comes in. Mm. But we got seven feet of this. But I don't know, on Amazon you can get like 10. 10? Yeah. You can get 10. So 10 feet should be plenty. Seven feet, I think we're going to be kind of close, but. Hopefully. Like you said, it's temporary. So we're just gonna do that for now, and then it should be here Monday. So I'll just switch that out myself. <laughs> this is what this is just for the charcoal thing. Yeah, charcoal canister. So it shouldn't see that much gas, but if it does, you know. And y'all see right now, we get more down almost all the wired up except that one right there. But y'all see, this is how it's gonna be, and we're gonna put that thing around it so. It can look clean and not like fucking shitty like this how it is right now. <laughs> but yeah, we just need, he just needs to wire that last wire up right key. He lock it up though. And then we just go over it with that and cover up all the wires. And when I get home, I'm gonna fucking just spray all this off. Like, see, mire más o menos limpio la gas tank. Cause right now, look like, look like we got it from the junkyard. The <laughs> 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 real is all looking dirty and everything. The truck, turn on. Good job, sir. All the wires are wired up. Yeah, I see you might look kind of crappy right now, but like I said, we're gonna go over it with that little thing, go around, around all the wires and make it look good. Yeah, I see it's raining outside. So here it is. It's finally done. We just need to go buy a strap for it, so it can just la voy a amarrar ahí y ahí, so it won't fucking go back and forth. Cause it's not gonna get hit by my tire. But y'all see, Gemma put the little thing to cover up all the wires, so it looks more nice. Wireless, wireless. Wireless. Looks factory. Ah. <laughs> but 
this how it's gonna be. That's how I'm gonna be pumping gas. I'm gonna be leaning like this. Just like this. Man. <laughs> it's just better than mine. Mine is like it's king. So I'm sitting there like this. <laughs> Whatever well, I go to the gas station. Oh, nah, whatever we gotta go to AutoZone and then go to the gas station. Bitch, you better go to the gas station first. Nah, I'll make it. I'll make it. Huh? Yeah. To go buy a strap. I don't think I, I don't think. Get one Harbor Freight. Then we can go to Harbor Freight then. If I gotta go to Harbor Freight. For those. If it makes it. If it don't go back. Get gas. Nah, I Anyways. Do. It ain't that hard. It really wasn't really hard. It was just like what two bolts that to let the whole damn yeah two yes. two fifteen bolts to let down the straps, three wires for this sensor, four wires for this sensor on this side, and then the yes. two eight holes for that one, and then the five eight holes. But like I like Dario said, he's getting a new hose like this one braided. Um, it'll make everything look better, and this one's a heater core hose. So that's just temporary though. Uh -huh. um, and the other another one just plug in, just plug in, then for yeah, yeah, this one, this one plugs in to this one. It also goes to this. Yeah. So there's only two hoses. Two and hoses, two wires. That's it. Two bolts. It's all easy to be honest. But there it is. Finally relocated my gas tank because if y'all saw it earlier clip, that shit was have, about to have a hole in it. <laughs> well, here guys, the last look of the gas tank relocating. You see it right now, it's raining, so I didn't really put no water on it or rinse it off or anything because there was no point. The rain's gonna do it itself. We all see, I bought a strap, so I won't move anywhere. You see, and you got all that. Well, that's literally how it will look, but I went to go get gas before I came home, and I can't get looking funny because I have to hold it like this and put the little thing in here. Everybody's getting staring at me, <laughs> but yeah, that's how it looks, guys. But I hope this video helps with some of y'all out if y'all were trying to relocate our gas tank like i have because my truck's too low and it just scrapes and hits everything so hope this guy this video um helps y'all out and peace